It's not unusual for guests to shed a few tears at a wedding. On July 22, however, bride Brittany Adkins could not stop herself from bawling right before she exchanged vows with groom Jordan Yost. But not for the reason you may think. Was Brittany overcome with emotion at marrying the love of her life? Absolutely. We have no doubt that she was. However, Brittany's emotions at the time the above image was snapped stemmed from thoughts about her grandfather, a reverend named Ronald Adkins. He died in April of 2016, ending Brittany's dream of having her loved one officiate her ceremony. Or so Brittany understandably thought. Yost, though, along with his future brother-in-law and sister-in-law, worked to create a special surprise for Brittany on the day of their nuptials, which took place in Crab Orchard, West Virginia. Shortly after the bride and groom both arrived at the altar, the preacher asked everyone to bow their heads in prayer, and that's when Ronald's voice started playing over the loudspeaker. What? How? The late relative prayed over the couple and pronounced them husband and wife, prior to telling the groom he could kiss the bride. The recording was actually from Brittany's sister's wedding, which took place in 2015 and which was officiated at the time by Ronald. I immediately recognized his voice and started sobbing, Brittany told the Huffington Post, adding. Different emotions were racing through my head while trying to soak in hearing my grandpa's voice. I was weak to my knees, chilled, but despite all the tears, I was smiling inside. Only a select number of people at the wedding had any idea this audio was on tap. Besides the bridal party and those involved, no one knew, Brittany now says. Our guests, including myself, were weeping and the emotions and love that flowed through our ceremony was truly touching. Brittany grew up next door to her grandparents. She has said her relationship with Ronald such a blessing, elaborating to the Huffington Post. I was always at my grandparents' house because I loved it there. But as a kid, who doesn't love grandma and grandpa's house? For me that feeling never changed, he was always there when I needed him and never hesitated to tell me when I was wrong or what to do to make something better. He was always my go-to and one of my biggest supporters, and I was always his helper. Photographer Sarah Irvin shared a picture of Brittany crying on her Facebook page and said it was the most incredible moment I've ever had to witness. We can only imagine. What an amazing story. We wish nothing but the best to Brittany and Jordan.